Today, most people use basically four types of email, emails from each platform, such as Apple's iCloud, Google's Gmail and Microsoft's Outlook, and corporate emails, which have their own domain. They usually use the applications of these own services to access and manage their emails, but if you want applications with more features, in today's video, I will present the best email applications on the market. Proton Mail is the first on our list, originally created as an email service to compete with Gmail, iCloud and Outlook, but focused on security and privacy. You do not need to use the email address of the service to enjoy all the features of this application. You can link your corporate email with your domain to the service, so you will have access to all the features but using your own domain. Proton Mail has as a great feature security and privacy, with tracking blocking, encryption of your emails, no type of advertising, in addition to traditional features such as Smart Message Box, which categorizes and groups the types of email address system aliases, that is, a virtual email linked to your main email, very useful when you do not want to disclose your main email. Have email scheduling, security of two in factors, in addition to having apps for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iPhones and web version. You can use Proton Mail for free. However, you need to use the Proton Me address, and you will be entitled to a space of 1 GB. But with premium plans starting at 399 euros, you can link your own domain and have up to 500 gigabytes of cloud space, which can also be used in Proton Drive, Proton's encrypted cloud. Now if you want to continue using your email from Gmail, iCloud, Outlook, and your own domain email, a great free alternative is Thunderbird, an application from the Mozilla Foundation, the same as the Firefox browser, which is visually very similar to Microsoft's Outlook, with built-in calendar, with classic functions of every email application, such as organizing emails into folders, creating email aliases, scheduling emails, among other more basic functions. Don't expect more advanced features. It offers the basics, but well done, and without costing a penny. It has versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux. It does not have an Android or iPhone version. In times of artificial intelligence in everything, Canary Mail seeks to differentiate itself from its competitors precisely using AI. With a modern look and a free plan, it has an organization system for prioritizing emails using artificial intelligence, cancellation of sent emails, synchronization on multiple devices, dark and light mode, system to unsubscribe from newsletters with one click, in addition to being possible to include in the app multiple accounts. That is, you can in a unified mailbox manage your emails from Gmail or iCloud, for example, and several of your emails with your own domain, all for free. But if you want more, in the premium plans that start at $49 per year, you have access to more artificial intelligence features, such as assistance in the composition of emails, summary in the reading of emails, customized emails, templates, PGP security and much more. Canary Mail has applications for Windows, Mac, Android and iPhone, as well as a Chrome browser extension. Now, if you are tired of the formats of traditional email applications and want to take a step forward in terms of design, a great alternative is Spike Mail, an app that mixes email with features of a messaging application. It may seem strange at first, but it is very different and interesting, because today we are all used to using applications such as WhatsApp, Message, Telegram, among others. The ease of communicating has conquered everyone, and Spike simulates this, because his email conversations are in an instant messaging format, with all the agility that this means. In the free version of the application you already have access to artificial intelligence to write emails, make email summaries, and organize your mailbox. In addition, you can link your own domain email, make video calls with another user, attach files of up to 30 megabytes, and will have one gigabyte of cloud space. But if you want more features, such as more improved artificial intelligence, unified mailbox for multiple email addresses, sending attached files of up to one gigabyte, up to 20 gigabytes of cloud memory. Premium plans are a great alternative. In plans already start at $5 per month. In my tests I really liked Spike. But this is an important tip. The methodology of viewing emails as if they were messages will work better if the other person also uses Spike Mail. If he doesn't use it, things don't work very well. 
Spike Mail has applications for Windows, Android, iOS, iPad OS, and web version. To close our list, we have Spark Mail, from the famous Ukrainian application developer Riatl. Spark Mail has a free version that you can link multiple email accounts, from Gmail, iCloud, and Outlook, to exchange emails and emails from your own domain. In the free version, it has a smart inbox, which categorizes and organizes your emails by email type. You can mark emails to read later. You can schedule and cancel sending emails, create aliases of your emails, has intelligent search, synchronization between multiple devices, collaborative emails for your team, and much more. Spark has applications for Windows, Mac and iPhone, of great quality. If you want more, in the premium version that costs $499 per month, you have artificial intelligence to help create and summarize emails. It has templates also created by AI, in addition to a series of other features. But which one is the best? It depends on your need. If security and privacy are your priority, opt for Proton Mail. If you want a good free applications, without more advanced features, you want something simple and direct. Go from Thunderbird. If you want to innovate, with instant messaging visuals, Spike Mail is the way. But if you want a smart email with artificial intelligence features, opt for either Canary Mail or Spark Mail. I've used them all for long periods, but currently, I use Spark Mail and I'm very satisfied. What about you? Which one do you prefer? Any different suggestions? Leave your comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.